Welcome to my LED screen tutorial channel, proudly brought to you with the support of DigiLED, the LED screen experts. Welcome to another super exciting episode of LED screen tutorials. Right, so today we are going to talk about hot backups or redundancy. So to do this, we're going to set up a little uh, a little test screen. Uh, at the moment, we have a Novastar MCTRL 4K with 16 outputs attached. So we're going to log on as normal. And then we're going to set up a little 5x5 five five LED screen. We'll go through this quite quickly. If you want to know how to do this, check out another video we've, uh, we've got lined up for you. So we'll just cable up our little 5x5. Five five. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a single chain on each row. And there you have it. So you'll notice I've started on the left and moved my way to the right. And we've started with number one at the bottom, number two, number three, number four, and number five at the top. What you've got to remember is that your input is here and your output is at the other end of that chain. Right, we're just going to send that to hardware. And once we load, or once we've loaded, we will go ahead and set up our redundancy cables. Something to remember is try not to plug in your redundancy cables until after you've sent your main map. Uh, if you do plug in your redundancy cables and then try to send your cable map, things will get very confusing because the system will try and send the data down both strings. So, in the sending card tab, we're going to have a look down at the bottom of this window. And the first thing we're going to do is add. So we know we've got a 5x5 five five with 5 outputs. And we're going, to send, we're going to set up our redundancy on the same processor as our primaries. So on the left here, you have the primary outputs of your processor. This top one here, that is your processor. The bottom is your output. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell the system that we're going to use processor 1 as our backup. And for line 1, we're going to choose line 6 as our backup. And then we're going to add it. Then we're going to go to the next one. Again, processor 1, but this time we're going to work with output 2. And we're going to set that as processor 1 backup, output 7. And we're going to add that. Then we're going to look at line 3, and we're going to set that up on line 8. We're going to add it. 4 gets backed up by line 9. Add. And line 5 will be backed up by line 10. Right, we now have our hot backups programmed. And you can run through this little list to see what's backed up by what. If you have a look here, you've got your primary sending card. Port number 1 is backed up by primary primary sending card number one or processor number one and backed up by port number six processor one if we have a look at the next one it's processor one line two is backed up by processor one port seven 
Now if you have multiple processes, you can set this processor number to whichever processor is relevant as your backup. From here, we're going to send that to the system. And there you go. Your redundancy has been set up. If you have any questions or concerns or you'd like to see videos on any other topics, please feel free to contact me at the following information. Thanks for watching and have an absolutely amazing day.